after closing these temporary accounts, what you would see at the end is just all the permanent accounts. Assets, liability in the middle, and it ends with equity accounts, and that's it. Okay, so post-closing trial balance, this retainer is here is already the up-to-date retainer the new retainer the ending balance here. Okay, so that's the only difference between this post-closing trial balance compared to the worksheet, the adjusted trial balance column. Okay, the only difference is really just the retainer names, that's all. All the other accounts is there, and also revenues and expenses are also different because we transfer that amount to the okay, So this is an optional step for companies to do. They may want to do this, and then they just start next season by looking at whatever amount is listed here. Those will be the beginning balance for the accounts. Okay, so you will see revenue, the balance will be zero until there's newly earned revenue by providing services, providing goods, then you will put the amount under revenue again. And until there's new incurred expenses, then you will add expense amount under um, expense T accounts for the next season. Otherwise, you will just see this beginning balances as the starting point. And so for post-closing trial balance, you really just need to know the main difference between this and worksheet. I will not be focusing too much on this um, for midterms. You really just need to know the differences between this and worksheet. It doesn't have all the temporary accounts, and this is updated. That's all. Okay. Any questions so far? All right, let's move on to classifying assets, liabilities, and current and long.